Hey, what's up you guys? This is Isaacs. Uh, this week's topic, we're talking about what we're planning for our transition um, as far as our goals go. Uh, as far as myself, I don't really have plans on my transition that I'm trying to get done this year as far as I've thought of just uh, as of yet. Um, I have some other things I'm trying to work on. Uh, I've gained weight since top surgery, and I think that's partially just because I've let it get to that point. So that's one of the things I'm going to try and focus on uh, this year is dropping weight. And I just want to get back to a healthier lifestyle where I'm not just gaining weight because I work in an office. So I have to make that effort to get out there moving in order to keep weight off and not put too much on. So this year I plan to focus on that um, and hopefully start working my chest out. I had started doing little things, but then I had the revision done on my side with top surgery. So I didn't want to push doing anything too soon. I had that revision back in September and I was just trying to give myself enough time to heal. Um, it took a while for me to heal. I had a part that was still open on my incision for a while. So now that's healed up, I think I could go back to focusing on that. Um, I know I'm really bad with getting stuff recorded for y'all. And that's because school is getting hectic. Um, I work full time. Y'all can see my job in the background. And I'm going into my last semester of my first degree. So... This semester is going to have like five classes going on. So I know that it's going to have me really stretched then until like May, I think, is when this semester ends. Um, so I'm just trying to like focus on getting that done. And that's not technically a part of my transition, but it is one of my goals for the year. Um, on top of that, guys, I have my personal channel and... I'm in a relationship, I am planning to pop the question. So, like I said, it doesn't have to do with my transition, but this is the little things I'm working on right now. Um, we're also looking at finally living together, so that's something that we're working on in the next few months. So it's just a lot going on this whole beginning of the year and trying to focus and get all this stuff done. So. While it doesn't exactly have to do with my transition, it has to do with me and where I'm focused at this year and what my goals are and what I'm setting um, as far as where I'm trying to be as far as everything goes. Um, once I graduate, I plan to go another two years to university because uh, right now I'm just going to a community college. So, yeah, um, my levels... I've kind of been a little low, uh, lower than I'd like them to be. So right now I'm still working on getting those evened out. And that's partially because when I had surgery, I had to get off a of tea. And then I had to reschedule surgery. Um, and that prolonged how long I had to be off of it. Then I got back on it, ran out, and I changed doctors. And I just went some time without it. So it's just been like... There was a long time <laughs> that I was without a shot. It was like 10 weeks. It wasn't all consecutively, but a good chunk here, then a couple of shots, and then a good chunk there before I got into the appointment with the new person that I'm seeing as far as uh, my my doctor of choice. Um, but, yeah, I just went for labs like a month or so ago. I haven't been able to get the follow-up done uh, to go over my labs with my endo because I had just a lot going on. Um, but let me wrap this up, guys, and we'll see y'all next week.